Today we're at the opening of CSX Field at Baybrook Park. It's exciting. We got Cal Ripken here with us today. We got a lot of folks from CSX, the community, a lot of the faculties here, some of the student athletes are here. So it's a great, great day and looking forward to uh, cutting the ribbon. About three years ago, our friends at CSX asked us to help them fulfill a very important mission that they had for the Brooklyn Curtis Bay community to build a home football field for Ben Franklin High School and a safe haven for kids in the community. And thanks to so many people who are here with us today, that vision is now a reality. We have a guy here named Jermaine Swafford who's on our the Cal Ripken Senior Foundation Board of Directors. He's the Senior Vice President and Chief Transportation Officer of CSX. They are the title sponsor of this field. Let's give him a huge Baltimore thanks and welcome to the podium. You know, before I started railroad and I played football at Marshall University as an All-American linebacker, I learned firsthand the significance and the power of this field here. It taught me about perseverance. It taught me how to get up when I got knocked down, right? It taught me how to work hard and make sure that everything that I did had meaning and had purpose. But you know what? In the years ahead, thousands, literally hundreds of thousands of student athletes, kids, will also share in that experience because of the significance of what this means to this community. Everybody that had a hand in this thing, what you've done for these kids right here and what you will do for their future, thank you so much. Uh, Jermaine, um, his message sort of hit closer to me um, because um, you do experience um, all these great, wonderful developmental opportunities on an athletic field. And I, I guess that's really what I want to focus on because I had a dad who was a coach and he was a professional coach, but he also used that sort of power um, in a professional way to reach out to the communities and uh, use baseball in particular to get their attention and then start to match them with mentors and give them an exposure, a choice, a direction. I couldn't be more proud uh, to be a part uh, of a team that puts together this sort of uh, project. I just want to say congratulations to, uh, to the whole team and in enjoy the field. When CSX partners with the school, it's not a building, it's, it's students. And when they get to know uh, Raekwon and, and Daquan and, 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 and the different students there, they want to help them. CSX has been uh, um, wonderful. As a matter of fact, uh, you know, everything that we thought of, um, they've just said yes. And uh, they have such a community um, need to, uh, to give back. And, uh, and, and I think there couldn't be a better way to give back than to focus on the kids and development in the future. And I particularly take a uh, great enjoyment because they understand the value of sport and they understand the value of this place being an outdoor classroom as well as just an athletic field. What I envision this field being is where Curtis Bay Elementary Middle, Baybrook, where it starts to draw families together. Then all of a sudden the surrounding community that, that lives here, they take pride in this. And now it becomes this jewel that now people are going to travel to see and they're going to want to come. And so that's the transformation that this field and sports can do for us. Kids just, you know, want to feel like they're counted on and counted in. And, and we feel like we were able to, you know, demonstrate that they were important uh, by just being a part of their lives. When you can demonstrate that you care and that means something to kids and that really starts to take hold and starts to allow them to unleash and unlock. You know, I think just being a part of their lives and showing them that we care has made the most impact and allowed them to, to achieve some of the top scores and make this one of the top choice schools. I mean, we did nothing. We received all this stuff. We didn't pay a dime. You know, the city didn't pay a dime. And it just means so much to see that. You know what I mean? It just. It just makes what we do more meaningful when you see people who are not just in the school system every day, but see people that when they say they want to help, they actually walk the walk. So that's pretty much it.